Hello my fellow Flipsters, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I've got a very special phone for you. Uh, this is the Sharp JSH04, so let's get started. So for those of you unfamiliar with the Sharp JSH04, which is quite the mouthful, this phone was exclusive to JPhone, which is a 2.5G network, or, or better was a 2.5G network in Japan uh, in the 90s and early 2000s. Um, JPhone eventually sold out to Vodafone Japan um, and Vodafone Japan became SoftBank in 2006. So this phone was released in 2000 and some of you might know this device as the world's first digital camera phone. Now that in itself is a contentious issue because the Kyocera VP210, which was launched in 1999, was also technically a camera phone. The difference between the Kyocera and the Sharp is in the fact that the Kyocera was really a video phone, although it did have um, the capability to take still photos with its front facing camera. Now the Sharp SH4, has a rear facing camera with a little selfie mirror and it also has software controls for the camera which i'll show you in just a second so hence why a lot of people consider this to be the truer camera phone as we know them today but both are really great phones to be honest and they uh, were released way ahead of the rest so i think they both deserve the title of first now let's turn this on you can see a little uh, jphone splash screen here um, by the way, this phone is super light. I really like the look of it. Uh, it feels great and it looks good even 20 years down the track. Now, it's a Japanese only phone, so I had to play with this a little bit because there's no English version and I don't read Japanese. I know, terrible. Um, so going into the phone here, we have the 0.1 megapixel camera and you can see, hopefully, um, there's my ring and we can adjust the exposure to make it a little bit more visible. Well, we can brighten it up um, and then we can just snap a photo of it. There we go. And then we can save that to the phone memory, which should take about 20 to 30 photos and send it via messaging service, much like our MMS or um, emails. So that's really it. There is a few um, options in here, which I, I don't know them all. I know there's a timer and there's a scene mode and you can adjust the uh, exposure so there is probably more hidden in there but i just like i said i can't read japanese so if you clever people can tell me a bit more about this phone um, please leave your comments and feedback uh, or send me a private message that would be appreciated um, now to the screen as you can see it's not the greatest but it was it's a first generation stn um, screen with only 256 colors so uh, it's certainly um, not the brightest or sharpest but the follow-up model the sharp 06 then had the uh, 65,000 color version of STN. And then as we know, things evolved very quickly and um, you know, also pixel density became much higher. So yeah, there isn't much more to say about this phone that I know of, but um, I really do like it. And I think for um, a 20 year old phone, it's kept really well. And uh, of course, also look at the um, funky antenna. It's always funny seeing um, external antennas on phones, but you know, it would look great without an external or a little stub. Anyway, if you have any questions about this phone at all, please just leave a comment, send me a message, um, and you know, share any of your own personal experiences with this phone. I'd love it. So thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, bye.